Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be seeing if the solar system or the planets I guess would survive um, a supernova from Alpha Centauri. So if you didn't know Alpha Centauri is 4.37 light years away so we're going to see if a supernova from that distance would affect our solar system in any way so yeah we're going to see what Universe Sandbox does about it because remember Universe Sandbox may not always be accurate with supernova since Sometimes they act different to other times, it's weird. But anyways, let's go leave our custom simulation here and go into a new solar system. So let's go right here. And there we go. And also guys, many uh, many thanks to all the um, people who have subscribed recently. Because like I said in yesterday's video, the subscriber count has gone up so much in the last few days. Can't thank everyone enough. And also, um, what I'm thinking about as well, I said it in yesterday's video, I'll say it here again as well. Should I um, make a video at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, so Orlando? So should I do it? Because, um, wait, is it even in Orlando? I don't know. I'm not American. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm going to Florida for a few weeks in July. So should I make a video when I go to NASA? Because, yes, yeah, like one of my favorite places to go. So should I do it? Like, tell me right now. I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. Because, it, like I said in the live stream, or like I mentioned um, in last video about the live stream, um, you guys seem to really want me to do a video there, so yeah, just tell me in the comments um, if you think I should do it. But anyways, enough of that. So, let's get into this. So, if you didn't know, Alpha Centauri, we're just going to use an Alpha Centauri A here, since that is the main star. So, it's 4.37 light years away, I believe. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, 4.37 light years away, so we're going to be um, doing this right now. So, we're going to make it go just in a steel. Alright, 4.37 light years. We've got to go pretty far out here. Right, 4.37 or 35, 37, so right there. So that is how far Alpha Centauri is from the Sun. So if we look here, I'm gonna turn off all of the orbits and stuff. Whereabouts is it? Is it where where is it? I can't even find it. That's how small it is. From um, this distance. It is a um, similar size to the sun as well. Slightly larger, and I think it's more of an older star as well, just by a little bit. Let's see if the game. So the game says it's six galactic years old. The sun is only 4.66. So apparently, yeah, this is older. So pretty interesting stuff. So Alpha Centauri is all the way out here, and then the sun is right there. So if we turn off the labels, as you can see there, if we just go past Alpha Centauri. The sun is just a tiny little dot in the Milky Way. That is how far away these stars are, and just because they're so small as well. But anyways, we are going to make this star go bang and see what happens. So we're going to go to powers here explode and we're going to slow down time here we're going to look from our solar system so probably from the sun's point of view we're going to try and spot this supernova happening so we press explode and there we go so we've just got a supernova which has been created now we will go back to the sun wherever it is because it's very small let's right, so go back to the sun and actually try and find what is left of alpha centauri because as we can see we can't really see anything right now but yeah the sun is right here but can't even, can't even see a supernova yet, so zoom in here and go all the way to the sun. Now we want to try and look for this supernova, so let's hit play. We literally got to find this. I literally have no idea where this supernova is going to be. That's how far away it is. Alright, so let's speed this up now. And that supernova is getting a lot larger every single second as well, so we'll keep an eye on where the planets are. And I literally cannot find it. <laughs> Whereabouts is it? Is that in there? Nope. Um. Yeah, that supernova is really far away. Jeez, jeez, that is crazy. All right, so we're gonna have to speed up more until it comes large enough in the sky to spot it. So, any sign of it yet? It's still just so far away. We can't even spot it. It's amazing how far the distance is. And this is the closest star to the sun as well. So, imagine if it was like the other side of the Milky Way, we wouldn't even see the supernova in the night sky. Uh, any sign of it yet? Nope. Still no supernova. We'd definitely see it if it was a larger size. Oh, there it is. We found it. Alright, so the supernova is there, so we can keep an eye out. So, as we can see, it's not that large yet. We'll go to um, Mercury here just to have a quick look. So, this is probably how large it would look for most of the planets since they're all so close to the sun. So, yeah, the supernova just looks like anything else in the night sky. It doesn't look like anything different. It looks like it belongs there. But as time goes on, we'll go to Earth for this as well. So, let's go to Earth, as we can see here. Let's go to Earth, and we have a little look around. Okay, where's the supernova gone again? Alright, there's the supernova. So if we um, hit play now and speed this up, the supernova is slightly getting larger. Now, I think about this point, we may start to get concerned of how large it is in the night sky because that's pretty big, so not good. And then at this point, we're probably going to realise this is a supernova. It's coming for us. Help. Like, 
but now we just have to play the waiting game and see if this super would actually affect our solar system in any way. Because remember, it does, has got four light years or 4.37 light years to travel from its original distance. So let's be pretty interesting stuff. But is it actually going to affect our solar system in any way? And now it's just humongous. Like if we look from the surface of Earth here, so let's go to around this point here maybe. So it's a nice at night time. If we look here and look up, that supernova is pretty big. So yeah, pretty scary stuff if this was to ever happen. And it probably will happen eventually. So yeah, it'd be pretty pretty cool to see this. But as we can see the supernova, if we zoom out here as well. So the furthest object would be Sedna, wherever it is, or this one right now. Or there's Sedna. So we're going to um So the closest one would be Sedna as its furthest, but Currently, the supernova has not hit the solar system yet, but any second now, we can see the supernova is starting to hit the solar system. So if we speed it up more, we're traveling years here, it'll take years, so if we were ever going to prepare to survive the supernova, we would have plenty of years to prepare. But it just depends if it would not, but maybe it won't affect us, because honestly, by this point, the material was so spread out from its original location that it may not affect us, but... This is just a game, and we may not be able to simulate this. I don't know if the game's actually going to give us a decent, like, um, a decent answer to this question. If it was going to survive a supernova from Alpha Centauri, but if there was a supernova in our solar system, for the so like the sun, for instance, yeah, we would definitely all be um, finished. iPad, shut up. <laughs> yeah, but we would definitely be finished if the sun was to explode, because obviously that's our support of life and gravity. It holds everything together, but yeah, not good. So if we hit pause here at any of the objects everything looks pretty much normal so i think to conclude from this if um, alpha centauri or any of the or any nearby star was to explode nothing would happen to our solar system because it was just because it's because it was four light years away all the heat and material so far spread apart i'm guessing that it just doesn't really affect us like but any, anyone got a good eye answer to this like would this happen in real life if alpha centauri was to explode for example or like or is the game completely wrong and I'm wrong and stuff like you can tell me I don't mind um, anyone going against what I say because yeah this is more of like a theory like it's always good to theorize and you're never going to be right 100% of the time so yeah it's, I'll be good and interesting to see what you guys have to say about this but at this point if we just hit pause here it is so bright because we are pretty much inside the supernova now or what's left of the supernova so if we land on earth well the north pole has gone that's a little interesting maybe that's just normal but if we look in the sky no matter where you look, apart from maybe that area, you can just about see the Milky Way, but, uh, but no matter where you look, the whole sky is covered in supernova. Like, if we um, slow it down as well, to a few hours, so come on, months, come on, come on, slow down. Pause, let's pause it and slow it down. Okay, days, okay, it didn't pause for some reason. Okay, we're almost there, hours, okay, here we go. So we're going a few seconds here, so as we can see, even at a few seconds, this entire sky is just covered with supernova and it probably light up the whole earth as well wait why is it freezing ipad be quiet let me let me put you on silent shut up <laughs> all right so why is earth freezing that's that's a little interesting I want to, that is very peculiar how has the orbits changed maybe maybe something did happen wait i oh, know the orbit looks completely fine okay interesting that is that is peculiar okay so if we speed this up again let the supernova advance again so yeah, the whole solar system is inside the supernova now, pretty much. But it doesn't look like the supernova affects us. So, is this is this correct, or would something else happen? Like, would the planets get vaporized? I I don't know. So, yeah, if anyone knows an answer to or has any suggestions, what would happen? Yeah, please leave a comment down below because that would be pretty, pretty interesting. So, now we can just speed this up until um. Okay, I don't think it's going to speed up since we're simulating all the planets as well. I don't think we can really speed it up much more than 18 years. But supernovas last for thousands of years, so. Yeah, we're not going to get rid of the supernova anytime soon, so we're just going to delete it. Wait, right, not the sun, we don't want the sun. Select supernova and then do delete supernova. Right, let's just do control D, that's faster. So, from the looks of it, nothing happened. Wait, why is it, why is it like a giant circle there? What what the heck? Wait, oh there we go, fix it, alright. So, yeah, it looks like n absolutely nothing happened. So, if Alpha Centauri was to explode, according to what the game simulates, our solar system will com be completely fine. So, unless it's the sun blowing up,
we're good <laughs> we are good so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video make sure if you did leave a subscribe oh, no leave a like and subscribe for more damn i really messed up there yeah so leave a like subscribe for more and if you have any suggestions for another video or you want me to go to nasa and make that video like i said at the start of the video or you've got anything against this video like you want to discuss theories or anything like that leave a comment down below it'll be interesting to see what you guys have to say so yeah, enough of that. Hopefully you all enjoyed, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Make sure we have a good day. But anyways, peace.